Father, we give you honor. We worship you because of your love. We worship you because of your faithfulness. We worship you because of your greatness, oh God. There is none like you, King of all glory. We give you honor, praise, and adoration, dear Father, because this is the day that you have made, oh God, that we should rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that you have made, King of all glory, that we may hear from you, Jehovah God, that we may continue to grow in faith, dear Father, that we may continue to know you more and more of you, King of all glory. We give you praise even as we hear your word today. We thank you, Lord, because you're going to speak to us in a special way. We thank you, Lord, even as we celebrate the mothers, oh God, and even as we learn from one of the mothers, King of all glory today, we pray that you're going to rebuild our faith in you, oh God. You're going to speak to us in a special way. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We thank God for today. We thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God for his greatness. We thank God for his mercies. The Bible says that the mercies of the Lord are new every morning. And one thing I know is that the mercies of the Lord are new this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to fellowship with us today. Thank you for availing yourself to celebrate the goodness of the Lord, to celebrate the mercies of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to read the word of God. The sermon today is on great faith. We have been talking about faith. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. And we have been building up on our faith. We have been learning more of faith so that we may continue living a life that is pleasing to God. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. If you bear with me, say amen. amen. Matthew chapter 15. And the Bible says, I'm going to start from verse 21. And Jesus went uh, hence and withdrew into the parts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman came out from those borders and cried, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is gravely vexed with a demon. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, it is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. But she said, Ya yeah, Lord, for even the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it done unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was healed from that hour. Blessed be the word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Today we are celebrating mothers uh, because it is Mother's Day. And as we are celebrating mothers, I wanted us to go deeper into learning more about faith. And the greatest example that I have on faith is this woman. The Bible says that she was a Canaanite woman. We are not even told what was her name. She is a nameless mother who seeks the help of Jesus because of her daughter. The Bible says that her daughter was vexed with a demon and it was a hard time for her. And she knew, she had heard the stories of what Jesus had done. She had heard that Jesus is the Messiah. She had heard that Jesus was healing the sick. She had heard that Jesus was casting out demons. Praise the name of the Lord. And now we see that when Jesus was walking in those parts of Tyre and Sidon, these are the places where the Gentiles lived. If he had left the, the part of Jerusalem, the part of Israel, because of the Pharisees. The Pharisees had come to him with questions. They were asking him, what can defile a man? Why are the disciples eating without washing their hands? There was a bit of controversy. And after Jesus answered their question, he withdrew from them and walked along the borders of Tyre and Sidon. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is the time that this woman, who is 
a nameless mother who wanted a solution for her for her daughter. This woman came out of the borders. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us to learn from this woman. She was not qualified because she was not part of the Israel. She was considered a Gentile. And even as we go back, uh, according to the Bible, uh, when we look at the Canaanites, who are the Canaanites? The Canaanites are the people who were cast. They were cast out of their nation and their inheritance was given to the children of Israel. And when we look at the history of the Canaanites, the curse of the Canaanites came from the, their, their grandfather, Noah. Because when one of the sons of Noah walked on his dad when he was naked, he went outside and called the brethren and just laughed about it and said, our dad is lying down naked. But the other brothers, Japheth and Shem, they took a blanket and covered their father's nakedness. And after Noah came out of his drunkenness, when, he, when the hangover was over, he realized that Ham had laughed at him. And he said, cast be Canaan. Canaan was the son of Ham. He did not cast the son who saw his nakedness, but he cast his grandson. He said, cast be Canaan. He shall forever be a slave. He shall forever be a servant. Praise the name of the Lord. And so, as we look at the history of the Canaanites, from that day onward, these people were cast. They were outcast. They were the Gentiles. Praise the name of the Lord. But this nameless mother decided enough is enough. My daughter will not continue to be vexed by a demon. I have to find a solution. I have to go out and cry out unto Jesus so that my daughter may be healed. Praise the name of the Lord. So as we learn from this woman, the first thing that this woman did, she came out of her borders. The Bible says that she came out of those parts from the border. She decided, I'm not going to hide it, my problem. I am not going to rest in this situation. I am not going to continue having pity on myself and seeing how helpless I am. I am going to come out of my borders and I am going to cry out to Jesus. After she came out from the borders, she cried out unto Jesus. And one thing I was observing is what Jesus did. The first thing that Jesus did, the Bible says that he answered her not a word. Jesus gave this woman the silent treatment. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know whether sometimes you feel like Jesus has given you that silent treatment. You have been crying out to him. You have been calling upon his name. But nothing seems to change. Your situation remains the same. I have come to assure you that this is the test of the great faith. That even if you have been given that silent treatment, that does not mean you have to keep quiet. This woman did not keep quiet. This woman did not give up. She continued to cry out. Even after Jesus was quiet on her. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says that Jesus continued walking and this woman continued following them and crying out, oh Jesus help me. My daughter is vexed with a demon. I need your mercies. I need your help. And the Bible says that the disciples decided now that Jesus is not doing anything about this situation. Now that Jesus is not even bothered with this woman, the first thing we can do is tell Jesus, tell her to go away. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I don't know whether you are in such a situation. Well, even people tell you, why keep on praying? Why should you bother? Why do you have to live a godly life? Why do you have to keep on pressing on? The disciples decided to tell Jesus, Re request, be, let her be sent away. She, her cry is bothering us. Praise the name of the Lord. The more she cries to us, and you're not doing anything about it, Jesus, her cry is a bother to us. Praise the name of the Lord. They labeled her a whaler, somebody who is crying after them. Praise the name of the Lord. But we are learning of a woman who had so much faith, who could not be moved by people laboring her the names they called her. She could not be moved by people who are telling
telling her that the master does not need to be troubled. But the Bible says that she continued to cry unto the Lord. And when Jesus spoke, he said something. He said, I was not sent, but only to the lost sheep in Israel. When Jesus spoke, he made sure that she understood that she was not worthy of his help. She made, Jesus made sure that she understood, you are a Gentile. I did not come to save the Gentile. I did not come to redeem the Gentiles. The time for the Gentiles to be redeemed is not yet. I came for the children of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. This was a trying time for this woman. Because she knew that Jesus was the Messiah. She knew that Jesus carried her help. She knew that Jesus could just say a word and her daughter would be healed. Yet the Messiah she has come to first did not even answer her. And then the disciples decided, let her be sent away. And when Jesus spoke, he did not even speak in her favor. He did not even tell the disciple, leave her alone. But Jesus started to make her understand, do you know who you are? Do you know who I am? I have come to save the children of Israel. You are a Gentile. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you understand that you are not worthy to receive my help? Do you understand that you are not even supposed to be calling upon me? Because I only came to save the children of Israel. I know if it was in our times, our pride could have hindered us. We could have just walked away in anger and in pride. But listen to what this woman did. The Bible says that this woman bowed down and, cried and worshipped at the feet of Jesus. In as much as she was being pushed away, in as much as she was being called the Gentile, she decided, I came to get healing for my daughter. It does not matter what you say. It does not matter how you react. I know that Jesus, you have my solution. The Bible says that she bowed down. And the name used there in Greek, it means that she prostrated herself at the feet of Jesus and worshipped him. Meaning she acknowledged, yes, Jesus, I am not worthy. Yes, Jesus, I am a Gentile. Yes, Jesus, I am also a woman. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because in the culture of the Jews, the women had no place to speak up. Praise the name of the Lord. Even in the book of in Corinthians, Paul was writing to the church and saying, let no woman be permitted to speak. But this woman decided, I am going to do something. I am going to touch the heart of Jesus through worship. Have you been seeking the Lord? Have you been pursuing something? Have you been persistent and nothing is happening? Let us take the example of this woman. Let us go down in humility and worship this king of kings. Let us go down in humility and acknowledge, yes, we are not worthy, but he is worthy to be worshipped. He is worthy to be worshipped. The reason unto why we were created, we were created to become worshippers. We are created to worship the king. King of kings. We are created to honor our Lord of lords. It is not time to focus on how disqualified you are. It is not time to focus on what people are saying. It is time to bow down and worship in reverence and in humility because this is what this woman did. She did not start to, to, to justify her position. She did not start by saying, I did not choose to be born a Canaanite. I did not choose for my daughter to be sick? Why should you tell me that? Why should you keep reminding me of who I am? But this woman decided it is not because of who I am. Hallelujah. Just like as our worship song was going on today, that it's not because of who I am, but it is because of who he is. Hallelujah. He is able. He is able. And the Bible says that the next statement that Jesus said, he said, it is not meat to take the children's bread 
and cast it to the dogs. Amen. There has been a controversy. Many people say that Jesus called that woman a dog. Amen. But according to the Jewish culture, they consider the Gentiles as dogs because they were servants. And you know, dogs, uh, the Englishman said as faithful as a, as a dog. You want to have a faithful friend? A dog will be a faithful friend because a dog will be awake when you're sleeping. The dog is there to protect you. The dog is like a servant. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Jews consider the Gentiles as dogs. And so Jesus is trying to continue to pull out the faith of this woman by telling her that it is not meat. It is not okay. It is not okay to take the bread of the children and give it to the dog. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God because we are saved by the grace of God. I thank God that we have been made the children of God. And what is the bread of the children of God? The bread of the children of God is God's provision. It is God's healing. It is God's protection. Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus was letting this woman know, you are not worth to partake the bread of the children. Because the time of Jesus manifesting salvation unto the Gentiles was not yet revealed. He was still on a mission to reach out to the children of Israel. But this is a woman of wisdom. She decided, I am not going to start and check the grammatically correct statement. I am not going to say that you have called me a dog. This woman said a very powerful statement. She said that even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Hallelujah. That is powerful. Even the dogs get the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So the woman was telling Jesus, I don't need the whole bread. I just need the crumbs. I just a little, just one word, and my daughter will be healed. I don't need the whole bread. I don't need even to be the child. Yes, in that position of a Canaanite, in that position of a servant, in that position of a Gentile, I still believe that I can get the healing that I came for. And the Bible says that Jesus said, Oh woman, great is thy faith. Hallelujah. Through that step, the faith of this woman was drawn out. The faith of this woman was revealed. And Jesus recognized the faith that this woman had and said, Oh woman, great is thy faith. As we continue to learn about levels of faith, this is one level. And apart from this woman that Jesus said that great is thy faith, the other time that Jesus taught somebody that great is thy faith, it was that centurion who had a servant that was sick. Praise the name of the Lord. It is only recorded twice when Jesus said, great is thy faith. Sometimes when he wanted to talk to the disciples about faith, he kept rebuking them and telling them, oh, ye of little faith. Oh, if only you believe. Praise the name of the Lord. But this woman, who we do not even know her name, who was a Canaanite, who was a Gentile, who was not worthy to receive the healing of her daughter, who was not even worthy to follow Jesus and keep crying out unto him. This woman, this mother, Jesus said that great is your faith. And that is why her story is told today. Because she displayed great faith. She overcame every obstacle that was sent. She overcame the obstacle of where she was born. She overcame the obstacle of her gender because she was a woman. She overcame the obstacle of the silent treatment that Jesus gave her. She overcame the obstacle of the disciples who felt that the best thing she can be done is to be rejected and cast away. She overcame the obstacle of traditions. She overcame every obstacle and said, I came for 
for the healing of my daughter and that is what I need. I am not leaving. I am not going anywhere. I am not going to be ashamed. I am not going to be moved. I will continue to pursue. She bowed down in worship. She decided, yes, I might be a, a dog. I might be a servant, but even the dogs eat the crabs that fall from the master's table. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says that be it done unto you even as thou will. It was done unto her as she willed after she overcame this obstacle. And the Bible says that and her daughter was healed from that hour. We do not see her walking around with her daughter. But back home. Because of what she did in the secret. I believe her daughter didn't know the mother had gone on a mission. And maybe the father even didn't know that the mother had gone on a mission. Praise the name of the Lord. She might not even have shared with the people from her whole household. Because they could have told her, it is crazy. You can't do that. You can't go there. You can't even be considered. Because she set out on a purposeful journey. Knowing that by the time I come back. Because I know very sure beyond doubt. That the one I'm crying upon. He is able to heal my daughter. And we can see this woman going home rejoicing. Knowing very well that I have just taken a crumb from the master's table. And that crumb alone is enough to heal my daughter. I don't know what you have been struggling with. I don't know what obstacles you have been facing. But today as we celebrate Mother's Day, I want to assure you that you can have such a faith. You can have such a persistent faith. You can rise above every obstacle. You can go above all that has been said and done until you possess that reaches your, heart, reaches your bread as a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And as we reflect more on this word, your present suffering should not hinder you from pursuing your miracles. Your current situation should not hinder you from pursuing that which you set out to get as you are coming today. As you purposed, maybe over the years, that which you have been calling God upon, it does not matter how long it has taken, but we will keep moving on. I assure you that if you keep pressing on, it shall be done as the Lord, and even as your heart desires. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you honor. We thank you for this woman who pursued her miracle beyond every obstacle. And we are learning from her today because she persisted. Lord, we have confidence, Lord, that even what our hearts desire you are able to do. You are able, King of all glory. We desire, Lord, we desire, Lord, to have such a faith that can be pleasing to you. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. May God bless you. Amen.